Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And a very good evening to Sir Nashwik Uslan and my fellow friends So, nowadays, video games are becoming a viral trend As people are becoming bored at home uh, Caused by the MCO, movement control order by the government during this pandemic, uh, this pandemic COVID-19 Therefore, uh, people started playing posting videos and even streaming online of them playing video games, especially the youth. Some people argue that uh, video games don't contribute to youth development. It spoils them. But think again. So on this day, I would like to persuade, persuade all of you to see, that, to see video games from a different angle uh, and you will see the benefits uh, according to researchers that will change uh, your perspective on video games. There are various reasons to consider uh, that video games contribute to youth development. The first one is that video games help to improve uh, learning. The second one is that they help uh, to improve brain function. And the third one is that Video games can help us to stay healthy and exercise. So to begin, let's look about the first reason. Video games can improve learning. So do they? Well, yes, they do. Studies have found that uh, video games can improve learning. Why do I say so? Uh, by playing video games, uh, we can learn and then apply what we learn in the game to our real life situation. For example, by playing medical and military video games, youth can learn how to survive, organize their team, and learn and gain new knowledge from uh, the video games. Uh, the video games teaches uh, us, uh, the youth, uh, to know new tools and how to use them in their daily life. For example, of these video games such as a Surgeon Simulator, Call of Duty, Project Hospital, Walking Dead, uh, and Last of Us. And the list goes on. The Federation of American Scientists, uh, FAS, argues that kids need to play more video games in order to be competitive in the in current jobs market. As we all know that getting a job nowadays is very difficult. So by playing video games, a youth, uh, it teaches a youth uh, uh, to, uh, to think in high order thinking skill, uh, to have high order thinking skill, such uh, like problem solving, interpretive analysis and more. We can see this in video games such as Fall Guys and Fortnite where we have to uh, find a way to survive and win. Video games, playing video games also teach, uh, teach, teach uh, teaches youth how to delegate, work as a team and prioritize. Uh, youth can learn how to communicate and work as a team. Some say that video games, uh, video gaming cause youth nowadays to become antisocial. Games such as PUBG, Mobile Legends, Counter Strike, uh, they encourage us to communicate and find new friends. We can assign roles that uh, making us to be disciplined with our roles. Uh, by playing such games also it helps to build our confidence talking to others and uh, cooperate to achieve the same goal. This is shown, where, uh, shown by the well-known players in Malaysia such as Solos, Penjahat, Fredo and many more. By playing video games, we can also find new friends online in multiplayer video games such as Farmville. Uh, they, these kind of games have uh, online communities that you can join such as in Facebook and Discord. They Discord. Uh, for, we, can jo uh, we, can, uh, we can find new friends from across, uh, all across the world. As myself, uh, I joined Mr. Beast Gaming Discord. Uh, for Minecraft, of course. Now that we know the first reason, 
you must be intrigued to know about the next reason on how video games contribute to youth development. Now, this advantage is inter uh, will interest you the most as it involves with our own brain. Video games have been shown to help us improve our brain function. Uh, they strengthen our range of cognitive skills such as special navigation, reasoning, memory, and reception. A 2013 uh, meta-analysis uh, in uh, research found that playing shooter video games improve a uh, player capacity to think about objects in three dimensions. Uh, this has a uh, this uh, has critical uh, implication for education and career development as previous research has established, established the power of special skills uh, for achievement in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Youth can uh, benefit from uh, this kind of brain function. We can get it from by, uh, by playing Valorant. Uh, a shooting video game. Uh, by playing also we can develop our brain function uh, uh, to reason and solve problems. They also help us to make split second decision, process information uh, more quickly and multitask effectively, effectively such as we can play Minecraft that uh, encourage us to survive uh, the hard way. Uh, the and Valorant, we have to quit think and uh, survive the game. It seems to me that some of you are still uncertain about video games. Let me persuade you more. The third reason uh, is crucial because it involves with our own health. Some of you said that uh, video games can be addicting and people may discard their health because uh, which is a... Uh, top priority in life by playing video games. I agree that health is a priority in life but we can't blame video games for this. So the third reason why video games contribute to youth development is they can help us to stay healthy and exercise. By playing video games uh, we can also uh, video games nowadays we can play the video games and also at the same time exercise. Uh, for instance, Zumba Fitness World Party Beat Saber where we slice up cubes uh, to win Beat uh, Arms, Super Shot VR and Pokemon Go where we can walk around the park or parking lot uh, to gain Pokemon. This game will actually uh, make you sweat, uh, trust me. Uh, the, it's an alternative for people that dislike going out, especially during this COVID-19 pandemic. By playing video games also, uh, youth can improve... Uh, by playing video games also, we can improve uh, our moods, promote relaxation and what of anxiety. Simple games such as uh, simple games and easy access games that can be played anyone, elders, youth, uh, and children, uh, such as Angry Bird, can help us to release stress and feel happy. Uh, they are effective tools to learn uh, resilience in the face of failure. Uh, it encourages uh, youth to stay positive and try again. Uh, because in the vi in video games, the amount of life that is given to you are li limitless. So you can try again until you win. Now that I have convinced all of you that video games uh, contribute to youth development, my speech is close to an end. I hope that you all now con you all are now convinced to consider that video games uh, contribute to youth development. The first one is video games can improve uh, learning. The second one is uh, video games can uh, can improve brain function. And the third one is that video games can help us to exercise and stay healthy. To end my speech, uh, PewDiePie quoted that uh, my parents said that sitting at home playing video games all day won't bring you anywhere in life. 
Despite that, he is now one of the most famous and richest richest YouTuber uh, in the in the world just by simply playing simply playing and reacting on camera to the video games. Sometimes in order to obtain clarity, you simply need to change your perspective. Seeing things from another angle, uh, from a different angle can often uh, turn a situation into a completely different different scenario. So what are you waiting for? Let's play video games now. Thank you.